Hey you guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have an unboxing of the brand new Planny Thing box. It's called Spring Florals and something else new. It is a brand new sticker book called Houses and Trees. I'm gonna flip through it too. A couple of things about the, the Planny Thing subscription box. Normally it has been a subscription box with other other products available to purchase. This is the last monthly box that Amber is going to do over at Planny Thing. She will still have some seasonal boxes that come out, but she wants to focus more on individual products that you could purchase all at the same time, not separate from your box. So, um, so she'll have a lot of sticker books, a lot of seasonal things. So stay tuned for that. I'm super excited about it. These stickers, starting from these stickers on out, the clear stickers are going to be matte, which I absolutely love. I've always loved the Planty Thing stickers, but I do prefer a matte just because they, when they're glossy, they have that sheen to them when you try to take a picture and or when you're filming. So I'm super excited to tell you that. And these stickers are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put my affiliate link in the description box if you want to purchase this uh, spring florals collection or the new houses and trees. I would so appreciate it if you use that link because it does help me out. And I'm going to go ahead and open this and show you what's in this first. Then we'll flip through the the new uh, trees and ho houses and trees book. And then I will do a plan with me using this box and then stay tuned for a plan with me using the um, houses and trees. I can't wait to use it. I'm so, so super excited about that. So I'm gonna pull this aside for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna pull all of that aside and show you everything individually. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is the sticker book, and I absolutely love Planty Thing sticker books, and now love them even more now that they have the matte clear stickers. So this is going to be a 30-page sticker sheet, 482 stickers, that's going to have the matte clear spring florals as well as the boxes to go with them. So they're going to be two pages of each, but the first one, so pretty, and look, they're not glossy. I'm just so excited about it. They're completely matte, so pretty, and I love this lavender purple with green. It's so soothing and organic looking. So that's the first page, and then there's the second one of that. And then we have some of the border pieces. Look how beautiful those are, and some of the smaller clusters. Springtime is just so exciting to me, and I'm so ready for it. The weather has been really pretty here in Oklahoma, although we're supposed to get some bad weather tonight, my husband told me. But there's the second page of that one. And then look at the boxes that coordinate perfectly with them. Some of them don't have the embellishments and some do. So that's a perfect mix. I like that there's the two different shades of purple as well as the green. So two pages of that one. Ooh, look at these. If this doesn't say spring, I don't know what does. So this beautiful, beautiful cotton candy pink and this bright green with the leaves and the branches two of those, and then two of the, the smaller clusters and the border pieces, which I absolutely love to use those. And I love that this has a little bit of a, like a tropical vibe to it with those leaves in there. And then this is the, uh, the these are the matching boxes. So again, some of the plain ones, even in, in all sizes, and then some of the ones with the florals, two of that one. Ooh, and this is so soft and pretty and kind of elegant with this kind of light yellow ivory kind of a creamy color with that pretty olive green leaves so those are the two pages of the larger blooms and then look at this these are so fun when she does these boxes so it's an actual box that the middle of it is clear too it's just cut out so you can lay that down on your paper and what's inside there can be like your functional box functional and decorative so there's a round one and then there's a diamond shape and then this shape some more clusters so two pages of that beautiful boxes i love this color combo so so pretty and sophisticated and these are like magnolias i think those are so pretty okay on to the next one look at these pretty peaches and corals mixed in with these the softer yellow and like the golden yellow Pretty. So those are the bigger single blooms. And then, oh, I love this. It's got one of the, the circles, circle boxes or circle shapes that you can actually write in. And then 
I like these corner pieces, some really pretty clusters. I like that there's a variation within each collection in this book of what shapes and sizes are offered. So there's two of that one. Oh, and the boxes are so pretty with these, such a pretty combo. There's that. And I love this. I love an all green, like really botanical vibe. I cannot wait to use these. Should I, I might use these today. I don't know though. I did just use a, did it do a green and yellow spread, but I could still do this. I might, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So two of those beautiful succulents and leaves and vines and branches. Oh, I love this too. So the border pieces and then those smaller clusters, two of those. And then, oh, all these soothing shades of green. How pretty is that? So two pages of that. You can just get so much in these sticker books. So that's the first thing that comes into spring florals. And next, let's look at the two double-sided paper sheets. And I always love these. I always wanna save them for something special. So this is the first one. It's got that leafy border all the, all the greens around and like the lighter lilac. And then the inside is just like that solid lavender. And then there's that pretty like magnolia print, with that chartreuse green, all the different shades of light green, pale yellow, so pretty. And here's the next one. Oh, I love that one. Such a pretty, like I said, soothing and pretty. I just love everything about this, all this green. And then the back is gonna be that lavender with the border at the top and the bottom. And these are the perfect size to fit like a Happy Planner classic. So if you wanted to like uh, make a divider out of it or just an insert with a quote or some special sheet you wanna make, that's the perfect size for the classic Happy Planner. So those are the two papers. And then next, let's look at the sticky notes I love these little sticky notes because they're the perfect size. They're, I, I don't feel like I'm wasting anything when I wanna write a quick appointment down for pre-planning. And I love how the flowers are there in the, like bordering the upper corner and then the lower right corner. And these are also great as box stickers. So of course they've got a little sticky on the back like a sticky note does, but you could use a, like a tape runner or a glue stick or something if you wanted to use these for your boxes for your spread. So great functionality on that one. A little pad of sticky notes. And then next is a gorgeous pin. Her boxes always include a pin and this one is so pretty with these pink crystals and that bright green then with the gold accents and it's a ballpoint pen. It writes in black ink. They all write really great. I'm really enjoying my collection of plenty thing pens. They're so, so pretty. And oh, I dropped one of the washi tapes and that is risky around here because Millie will run off with it. So these are the two washi tapes. really pretty like minty with the pink florals and then all the purples and greens love those and i love the size on these it's not the super skinny but it's not the wide it's just the perfect size so two full rolls of washi and the last thing in this box is two adhesive pockets and i love these these come in so handy so it just peels off and it's sticky on the back and it's it's transparent and you can put you can put whatever you want in there receipts coupons stickers um, little notes, you name it, and I love both of these patterns. So there's the one with the green and then the one with the purple. So I'm gonna do a quick recap first and then I will show you the other new sticker book. So In Spring Florals is the 30 page sticker book, the two double sided papers, The pad of sticky notes, that beautiful pin, the two rolls of washi tape, and then those two pretty floral, spring floral adhesive pockets. And this is available today. So if you want that, I wouldn't wait because usually the ones with the sticker books go pretty quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and then show you this other new sticker book, The Houses and Trees. 
Okay, here it is. Here is this beauty. I'm obsessed. Okay, so it's it's like seasonal trees too, which is super fun. This is available now. It launched today, and I have a feeling it's going to be pretty popular. So if you want this one, I wouldn't, wouldn't think too long and hard about it because it's just beautiful, and it's so different. I've never seen another sticker book with the trees in the houses, and I know that, or not a solid sticker book that, of just trees and houses. I know that the trees and houses that were in the autumn books and like the um, Christmas books, those were the first ones I used and those spreads were really popular and I absolutely love, love, love them. And again, these are matte. They're not no longer glossy. So again, it's a 30 uh, sticker sheet sticker book and 490 stickers that has the houses, trees, and boxes. Okay, and Amber at Planty Thing is from the Netherlands and she wanted to include these Amsterdam houses and I just love them. Aren't they charming and the colors on them are so pretty? So there's gonna be two pages of each. So two of the Amsterdam houses. And with these, I just love to line them up like at the bottom of the page or a little section at the top and kind of scattered around like a little, like a little village or a little city. And then look at the trees, these beautiful lush trees. Let me just pick one of these up. Oh, they're so nice too. They're, they're really a thick, nice quality sticker. So this section would be like springtime trees. So there's two of those. And then look at these little cottages. Aren't they cozy? Look at that one. I mean, they're just beautiful. Look at that, that has a tree on the side and there's a couple of little trees here that you could pair with any of the houses that you wanted to. So there's two of those, look at that little gate. And then here are the beautiful boxes. I love this pastel color combo. Look at that, all the beautiful shades of pastel. And this is what I meant, like lining those houses up. Look how cute that looks already on the sticker. So again, with these, these boxes, some of them are plain with just the color border and some of them have the embellishments. I love that she's doing like a mix of those now. So there's two of those, lots of function. And then look at these. How beautiful, this, this screams spring to me. I just love it. That beautiful lilac purple and then all the lush greens. So two pages of that one. And these are the summer houses. Look at that one with the palm trees on the top. Makes me wish I was on vacation. And this is my new favorite sticker book. That's just all there is to it. I love it. Can't wait to use it. So the summer houses and look, you know I love some palm trees and tropical vibes. So there's some single palm trees and then some smaller clusters, then the larger clusters and you get plenty of them because there's two. And then the colors on these again are so pretty, the color combo like with this sort of kind of washed uh, lighter red and that pale yellow and the blue. I just love, this is such a striking color combo. This, these three colors together are so pretty. Okay, and so again, some of the houses on some of them and some of them are plain. So there's two of those. And look at the fall houses. Spooky, like haunted mansions. And some of them just are like fall harvesty vibes. Obsessed, literally obsessed. Okay, so two of those. And look, these are so pretty. These were some of my favorites in the Autumn Florals book. I think it was autumn florals or was it seasonal all seasons or something but she is she does great with these trees two full pages of the trees and then looks at look at the boxes for fall with that pretty warm rusty color palette and then we go into like the winter time houses with all the snow covered trees and roofs look at that one how the sun is rising in the background are beautiful and then you can even the detail on these is great look at the lights you can see the lights on in the houses so it's two pages of that one and then the just the winter trees beautiful snow-capped trees and then these are like the holiday Christmas houses with the little wreaths look at the red door and then this is like a farmhouse all decorated for the holidays and cozy and then there are the boxes that go with the winter section in the pretty blues and greens. So that is the beautiful new houses and trees 
sticker book. When Amber first showed me this, uh, she sent me a flip through of it. I was so excited and I'm so excited it came today. So, and I get to actually see it in person and it's even prettier than I thought it was gonna be. But I'm gonna put this to the side and pull back out the spring floral stickers and plan my social media spread with it. I'm gonna just go ahead and pull everything out here. Stay tuned again for very soon for a plan with me with this one, probably this week. So let me go ahead and grab my pages for my social media spread. So let's look at the spring florals. Let's see, what do I wanna use? I did, I did a pink and green currently sheet not too long ago. I don't know, I think maybe kind of leaning towards these because these are so pretty. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these out. Like this one over here. right here and try something a little bit different this time I think I think well before I put that one down I'm gonna look at I'm gonna go look at some quotes and I'll be right back I think I just want to go with black quotes to really make the green stand out but I will be right back okay I went over there and made some quotes on the Cricut and these were just designs that they already had I have the Cricut access because I wanted kind of some botanical kind of plant related quotes so i i did this print and cut this you grow girl to go over here i think and i don't know if i'm going to use all of these but it is groundhog day on the 20 on the second i mean it's also it's going to be the second month this 22nd day in the 22nd year so i printed that too in a green but i think instead of these leaves on it i think i just want to use um the stickers, the planty thing leaves stickers. So I'm just gonna trim those off. Okay, so I wanna use this quote, but I want some more boxes too. Let me see. What if I do these two? Like right there. that up a little bit so it covers the white out okay all right I think that looks cute and then I want to have a lot of this around it So I'm gonna have that kind of growing out of it. take this up and cut it into three words so it just looks more it flows better okay so that's that
Okay, let me see if this works better. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. What else do I need? I'll put a little of that greenery right up there around the month. She's got a little scrap there. I need to probably label my little boxes. Let me go ahead and grab some. Actually, I'm gonna do two of the, one of the lighter and one of the darker that has the little plant already on it. scoot this one over a bit. And then use this one also. That way I have just a little bit more function and I'll put this one right underneath there and kind of make it a cluster. Actually, I'm gonna turn this one this way just to vary it a little bit so they're not all going the same way. Okay, I think that looks cute. Now I wanna go back to adding some more of the green. So how about some of these? Let's put that there. I just want it to be blooming out everywhere. And then Okay, and I think I'll put this one right here on top of this box. Actually, I think I'll put it down here at the bottom. All right, I think that's looking pretty cute. Let's go ahead with boxes over on this side, and then I'm gonna come back to this because I'm not sure, quite sure what I'm doing there yet. Okay, so boxes over here. Let's do a couple on let's do one up here and one over here. And then I'm gonna put one on Sunday. Scoot this one up a little bit because so it's not so close to this one. All right, I think that's all the boxes I need for this time. I think maybe I just want to fill this up over here with um, plants or you know, greenery. like that there instead of this. It just fills in the, the space better so I could use this somewhere else. Let's see. I'll put that just kind of hanging out there and put that there. Let's do some of this eucalyptus just kind of blooming out there. That's so pretty. Just had an idea. I could do a quote, a smaller quote down here and do more plants up here so it's, you know, kind of balanced. So I'm going to do this here. I'm 
Here we go. I'm kind of getting in a flow now. It, sometimes it takes a minute for me to kind of see what the vision is. Okay, and then let's see. I'm gonna have this over here. this down here. Now the quotes I have are these. I have be I believe in you, except for I was going to take off the I. I was just going to do belief in you. And then I cut this groundhog apart from the where it says Groundhog Day. So I'm going to put it over here on Wednesday, on Groundhog Day. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so here I could just do some more um, some more plants or leaves. And I'll just do this one here. A teeny little leaf scrap. We'll use that there. And then here we need something else. Just put that there. And I think I'll do these. Leaves here. This is just so much fun. Isn't it fun to get new stickers? Oh, I don't like that because it's right across from it. Okay, so how about we'll do this here. And then I'll have this blooming out from behind this quote. Cute. Okay, so I'm almost done with this side. I'm gonna move on over here. use some more of these I'll just have that like that and let's see what else I'll have that there it's coming together one of these smaller ones poking out from behind Mr. Groundhog. And I'll probably do a couple of bullet points there. And then, oh, I do want to use this other quote that says looking sharp. So where would that, that would probably be good. Maybe have it just right here in the middle or a little bit over to this side, I think. I probably won't do bullet points there. I'll just do them here, here, and here. Okay, and then let's get some more green reaction. And for balance, let's have some green over here. Um, I think maybe this would be good here. that there. Oh, 
Okay, then where it says looking sharp, let's see, we need something blooming out of that. Okay, I like the height on that. See how I would like this. Okay, that's pretty cute. Now let's go back to those clusters. Oh, I like that. So I want some more of those. Okay, I'm going to do this one over here. And then we need one of these larger ones too. Just a little bit of it though. Another one of these, just to vary the heights a little bit. And then a teeny bit of something over here. Let's do this one. Not loving that there. I think maybe that there. And then I'll do that little cluster up here. That's pretty cute. And need some more greenery here. Okay, let's add some bullet points and I think I wanna just go with black. I kind of like these triangles because they're kind of geometric and pointy like these plants. So let's do those. I like that it just needs a little bit more black to pull the quotes together, but I am loving this for something new and different, kind of, it's just kind of refreshing. All right, what else does it need? Maybe a little something more up here. I'm gonna do a little words first. What about these, these little strip words? Let's do this. And let's do, get a girl, be cute somewhere else. And then I'm gonna do this tiny one that says to do right over here. It's almost done. I just feel like it needs a little bit more green. I think that's enough words. I'm gonna take a little bit of this
and have that right there. Okay, I really like the way that looks, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of it. Right there. Okay, and then I want just a few falling leaves. So I think I'm gonna take this, this little succulent and just cut apart some of the leaves. Turn that one just a bit so it's not so much just like that one. Okay, there we go. And we'll just do a couple more falling leaves over here. Okay, that is it. That's gonna be my spread for next week. Oh, I just love it. I can't wait to write in it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I put this together. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.